Hello friends, how are you doing? We have completed our first video of the general session of the maritime industry, which was full of exciting and extremely useful information. And now in this second session, we are uh, now sailing towards our main concept. I will try to uh, convey uh, all the general topics that uh, need to be known uh, about freight forwarding. I hope uh, I can do it. Uh, we are not uh, currently within an university uh, at the moment or academic situation or institution. Uh, so I have prepared uh, our definition by adding uh, my uh, comments in addition to academic sources. Actually, uh, to uh, tell the to uh, I don't I don't uh, really like defining or making definitions. Uh, the reason uh, for this uh, is that uh, we have to try, we have to try, fit a fairly broad, wide, uh, or broad or wide uh, topic into uh, narrow definitions, you know? Uh, so now let's briefly go over the definition we see on the screen right now. Okay, I will uh, read now. Freight forwarders are the intermediaries that organize all the processes related to the transportation and logistics operation of the materials subject to shipment on behalf of the sender or receiver. In short, they carry out the entire transportation business and organization of activities that may be required before and after. Yeah. In reality, they do not have their own transport elements such as vessels, containers, airplanes, train or trucks. Okay. Yeah, this is, uh, I think, uh, seems it seems a little bit interesting. They do not have, they do not have uh, their own vessels, containers, equipment, trucks, and flights. However, they can act at the process like carriers' activities, ship owners' uh, activities. Of course, not like a carrier as 100% uh, activities. As the previous session, uh, which was named o Ocean General, we had learned what the carriers are exactly and their services okay they have got their own vessels containers and blah blah uh, yes when we look at the definition when we look at the definition that uh, we can say that freight forwarders are called as intermediaries of transportation activities between exporter and importer companies and carriers or you may think that uh, they seem like a real a real estate agent you know real estate agents, uh, which they uh, they can uh, find a appropriate <clears throat> home for you to rent. Yeah, it, they seem like a real estate agent. And uh, freight forwarders uh, earn only a commission from their customers for the freight or transportation services. You may think about like this okay uh, you are right uh, to think uh, like that at first uh, it may almost too uh, and when we look at uh, some official uh, web sites uh, for freight forwarders definition we will almost find the same words as uh, what fmc said about freight forwarders however uh, we should not assign an insignificant insignificant role uh, or minor role or unimportant role uh, in our minds with the term uh, intermediary because during the transportation of goods uh, they almost have the same responsibilities as the carrier most of the time especially in the USA uh, and European countries uh, freight forwarding can be used in different ways the reason uh, for this is the application of different license under the name of freight forwarding for example, uh, even if a company has freight forwarding uh, in its title, 
uh, it can only perform customs uh, brokerage uh, since it only has a customs license or if it only has a freight brokerage license it can only perform freight brokerage uh, operations uh, in fact there uh, are many differences between a freight forward freight forwarder and freight broker for instance uh, a freight broker does not uh, take freight rates a freight broker does not take freight rates themselves from the carriers but uh, in, uh, instead uh, helps their clients by acting uh, as a middleman between the client between the customer and carrier they only issue uh, commission invoices instead of freight invoices in other words the client uh, finds uh, the freight and uh, the carrier uh, issues uh, the freight invoice directly to that company uh, so uh, as such it remains outside the freight forwarder process yes it is true it remains outside the freight forwarder process which is our concept Therefore, we cannot simply think and define a freight forwarder just as just an intermediary. Uh, depending on their types and size, a freight forwarder can also receive freight, uh, receive or gather, uh, gathers uh, freight rates from the carrier and sell them to their customers uh, to put their profit on their freight rates. So uh, they can also provide services for all modes uh, of transportation. In this context, uh, as you can see on the screen, freight forwarders can provide services in a wide range of logistic activities, such as ocean, air, land, a railway, intermodal, project fair, combined transport, inland services, tracking, warehousing, customs clearance, uh, insurance, packaging, consultancy, factoring, a good player in its supply chain services okay they are key players in supply chain services it's true freight forwarders are uh, are an essential essential part of the shipping and logistics process my friends Uh, to be recognized and accepted uh, as a freight forwarder in the international community globally okay let's read uh, what is written in our slide about this topic together in the international arena in the international arena freight forwarders are under the umbrella of Viata, which is located in switzerland it is a non-governmental organization representing freight forwarders as worldwide. In the international arena, freight forwarders are under the umbrella of FIATA. FIATA means International Federation of Freight Forwarder Association, okay, which is located in Switzerland. And it is a non-governmental. Okay, I am uh, underlying this clause it is a non-governmental organization representing freight forwarders as worldwidely let's take a look at uh, what or uh, who fiata is from the website uh, founded uh, in 1926 uh, in vienna austria fiata is an acronym of its french name federation international the Association de Transitories et Assemblies. I don't know uh, any French, but I am trying to read it for you. And it is uh, known as the global voice of freight forwarders. FIATA is known uh, as the global uh, voice of the freight for logistics, freight forwarders. FIATA is headquartered in Genoa, Switzerland. 
uh, and in the International Federation of Freight Forwarders Associations is a non-governmental, uh, membership-based organization uh, representing freight forwarders in some uh, 150 countries. Uh, Fiatars uh, membership is composed of uh, 113 association members, association members, and over uh, 5,500 individual members. Overall, representing an industry of uh, 40,000 freight forwarding and logistics firms worldwide. Fiatar is a reference source, reference source on international policies and regulations governing the freight forwarding and logistic, logistics industry. Fiatar works at the international level to represent service providers who operate in uh, trade logistics and supply chain management. Through uh, its Fiatar documents and forms, Congress uh, training and publications, it promotes trade facilita facilitation and uh, best practice among the freight forwarding community. Yes, as seen, Fiatar is an important uh, organization in both transportation and freight forwarding fields. Fiatta is an important organization in both transportation and freight forwarding fields. Therefore, a company must must become a member of Fiatta to be recognized as an official freight forwarder in the international arena. Even if they have obtained a freight forwarder license from their own country, after becoming a, a member of Fiatta, the company must provide transportation services in accordance with the standards requested by FIATA. Therefore, the freight forwarder companies, FIATA membership, freight forwarder companies, FIATA membership is considered a trust mark for its customers. Uh, this is important. I will repeat it. Uh, FIATA is an important organization in both transportation and freight forwarding fields. Therefore, a company must become a member of FIATA to be recognized as an official freight forwarder in the international arena, even if they have obtained a freight forwarder license from their own country. Okay, this is important. After becoming a member uh, of FIATA, the company must provide uh, transportation services in accordance with the standards requested by Fiatta. This is also important. Okay. Uh, how can uh, a freight forwarder companies become a member of Fiatta? Uh, freight forwarders uh, may become a member of Fiatta directly as an individual member, or they may uh, become a member through their Fiatta association members' offices in their own country. For instance, in your in our country, in my country, Turkey, uh, this membership is being done uh, through UTICAT, UTICAT organization. Okay. In other words, we uh, can become a member of FIATA both individually, okay, as a company. Uh, for example, I have a company as freight forwarder and uh, I am able to uh, be a member uh, of uh, FIATA individually uh, and through FIATA association member offices representing FIATA in our country, in your country. Freight forwarder companies can apply for FIATA membership. Uh, the application process involves uh, filling out the application form on FIATA's website and submitting uh, the necessary documents prepared to meet the FIATA membership criteria. Okay, this application uh, can also be made through the FIATA representative uh, offices in your own country. Uh, the membership criteria set by FIATA during the application process include having a commercial registration and complying with local uh, regulations, having uh, sufficient financial resources, meeting uh, professional quality and standards, 
uh, and accepting Fayetta's Court of Ethics. The application is reviewed by Fayetta's Evaluation Committee, and uh, if approved, the applicant uh, company is accepted as a member of Fayetta. By the way, UTCATS UT is a association member office in Turkey uh, and UTCAT represent, represents uh, FAYATA here as well. Okay. UTCAT, in addition to uh, being uh, a member of FAYATA, uh, in addition to being a member of uh, FAYATA, also investigates and tries to find solutions to the local problems that forwarders face in Turkey. It also reports to international difficulties to FAYATA. UTICAT also organize, uh, organizes uh, training programs in the field uh, of forwarder and logistics. It is likely that there is a FAYATA Association Members Office that serves as the official representative of FAYATA in your country as well, of course. Uh, for example, uh, the ones uh, listed uh, here, one listed uh, here, are FIATA representative offices in some countries. Uh, for example, IFCBAA, IFCBAA in Australia, CIFA, CIFA uh, in China. As we can see, it's a long name, China International Freight for Water Association. BIFA, where is yeah? BIFA, British in uh, United Kingdom. DSLV uh, in Germany and TIA in USA. If you are not aware of the Fiat Association member office representing the uh, freight forwarders in your country, you can conduct research to find it and learn about it. Yes, forwarders have to be a member of FIATA in order, in order to issue a FPL. FPL mean, uh, means FIATA bill of lading, forwarder bill of lading, bill of lading. Yes, becoming a member of FIATA is a requirement to be organized, recognized as a freight forwarder and operate as a freight forwarder, of course. For example, there are some documents related to the shipments and uh, the most uh, important of them is, uh, of course, uh, the bill of lading. The most important document is bill of lading. We will cover, we will see uh, the bill of lading in detail, very detail, in our special session on the subject uh, in other section. Okay.